My name is Pirina yeah. Nunez, and this one over here is Sugar, the, <laughs> the Parker. Uh, but yes, I want to welcome you to this small practice for you guys to just use the poses and relax. Use it at any time that you need to. And this is just for you to practice every day, if you can, to start stretching and just feeling good. Um, and I want you to focus on all that is good in your life at this moment and to bring that positive energy into within you um, in this moment, into your heart, and just to be grateful for what you do have. So try to think of that while you're practicing today. And let's go ahead and practice for a little bit, um, stretching and breathing deeply, okay? So we're gonna begin laying in our mats. If you have your blocks, you can use them. I'll place mine on the side. And then let's go ahead and put sugar over here. <laughs> We're gonna lay down nice and relaxing. Flat in our backs. And just open up your arms, nice and strong. Allowing your breath to come all the way up into the top of the head, the crown of the head. Try to relax and soften your shoulders, your neck. Just begin to open up your heart. Take a few deep breaths here, in and out through the nose. Inward, bringing that energy all the way up. <laughs> and exhale, releasing it through the mouth or through the nose, allowing that energy to come all the way down into the tailbone, into the pelvis. And gently, when you're ready, begin to bend your knees. We're going to open up our, our eyes. Keep those knees together here, nice and strong. You're going to begin to bend both knees out to the right side. Sugar really loves me right now. <laughs> baby, I got to do yoga. Sit, baby, sit. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to place both of our knees, stacking them on top of each other. Try to lay it nice. And slowly and gently begin to open up your arms out to the sides. Palms can be facing down. Just try to gaze as you hold on, stacking that left hip on top of the right hip, breathing deeply. Just try to soften your eyes, your right eye specifically, to the left side. Breathing gentle try to open up your spine come back to center engage the core and the abdominals and then we exhale keeping that 90 degree angle in the legs you can always place something underneath your knees and then gently if you feel comfortable relax the neck all the way to the right side allowing that shoulder to rest as you exhale down into the earth. We're connecting here deeply, breathing in. And exhaling, twisting from the thoracic spine, right the mid spine, bring that belly into the spine, navel to spine, breathe in. And exhale. Begin to feel your spine awaken. Come back to neutral and central. As you're here, you're going to grab your knees out to the sides, coming into child's pose. Try to grab with your hands. Place it nice and gentle, your hands outside of your feet. Your knees are bending. And you begin to come into your child's pose, rocking from side to side. And just massaging, softening.
massaging in each vertebra here breathing deeply come back to your intention through the practice to feel better and to not have any ache internally mentally and throughout the body the spine the hips the shoulders begin to bring those knees back together hug it in and relax we're gonna come all the way up shifting our body crossing our legs let's come into our tabletop so as we're here place those hands nice and gentle if the wrists hurt go ahead and place maybe a blanket or something to soften and cushion the wrists as you find your alignment wrists underneath the shoulders flat back try to feel elongating all the way through and then stack your hips on top of the knees pressing through the top of your feet begin to feel your tabletop navel to spine Breathe in. As you inhale, begin arching your back, opening your heart up into the sky. As you breathe, you're moving your spine for more health. As you exhale, chin to chest. Breathing in. Inhale all the way up. You may do these movements as much as you like here. Notice how you feel today in your practice. As you breathe deeply, push those shoulders back a little closer to the spine and to the hips. And then as you exhale, engage your core muscles and push through your finger pads. Inhale. And exhale. Gently tuck your toes. If you feel comfortable here, you're gonna come up into your downward facing dog. Allowing here for your feet to be hip width apart. It's okay if you have to bend your knees, go ahead and bend them. And just begin to soften your shoulders back towards the hips. If you have to gaze back, try to gaze between the thighs, maybe into the navel, just to play around a little bit, or just into the ankles. Breathe through. Breathing in. Maybe bending one knee. Uh-oh. Breathing in. Go ahead and lift up those heels. And you exhale, releasing back into the earth. As you're here, we're gonna bend our knees, bring them back down into the mat. And we're gonna begin to gently push our hips forward. Try to create one line of energy here, engaging your core, untuck the feet behind you, and then you exhale, keeping those elbows close to you. Breathing in as you inhale, lift up your chest, open up and brighten through the collarbones here. Lengthen your shoulders, engage those arms, breathe deeply into your cobra pose. One more time, feel that chest coming forward. Somebody's pulling you forward. And then you exhale, soften back down shift towards the back bend your knees let's add a nice child pose a wonderful balasana just to come towards the back heels breathing in softening maybe laying that forehead down and stretching resting as you breathe deeply envision that breath that positive energy you've created coming up through the pelvis all through the vertebra, to the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine, and the cervical spine, to the back of the neck, to the crown of the head. Gently try to gaze up, shift your body forward, and let's come back to tabletop. Beautiful pose. Bend the right knee, shift your right foot forward, 
And then as you draw that belly in, try to bring your pelvis slightly forward. You can stay here, hands to heart center. Breathe in, or maybe lift up your arms. Try to challenge your gaze, relaxing, softening shoulders back, away from the ears. Try to bring your drishti, that's your gaze, towards the nose. Maybe just in front of you to a focal point, or maybe high up into your hands. Breathe in deeply here. As you exhale, place those hands back down. Then blocks can always help you here. So I'll place them here so you guys can see. And then as you place them right around your right foot, you're going to lengthen the right leg. Shifting your hip back, especially the right hip. Notice where it is. Lengthen the spine hard up and forward. And then exhale, falling down normally, gracefully, breathing deeply. Inhale, exhaling. Keep those hips nice and square. Inhale, bend the right knee forward. Draw that hip a little closer to the earth and then exhale, shift it back. Shift it forward, release those blocks out to the side, and then step the right foot back. Switch it up, left foot forward, come into your low lunge, Anjane Asana. Place those blocks if you like, and then bring those hands to your thigh or hands to heart center as you tuck the pelvis in. Navel to spine, elongating and breathing through the ribs. Allowing your heart to open up through the sides, breathing deeply. Moving that energy high up. Maybe bringing those arms high. Try to have those arms in line with the ears. And maybe this time you gaze a little bit higher towards the hands or you just stay gazing forward. Try to abduct your fingers, engaging every muscle even around the finger tips. Breathing in. Exhale. Shift those hands back down. We're going to bend our front knee. And then we release back into half splits as we gently honoring your body, honoring our bodies here. We tilt the pelvis slightly forward as we inhale, lengthen the spine. And then we exhale, softening. You may adjust the blocks if we need more support. Breathing in. Inhale, come on forward, release the hips a little bit down. Notice your thigh here stretching through same as your hamstrings right in the front exhale notice the hamstrings and the front leg stretch it through nice and steady you may repeat these poses as much as you like and how you're depending on how your body feels remember this is your practice so go ahead and plant your hands and we're gonna step that left foot back. As we here, tuck the toes, come on up, downward facing dog. Breathing deeply, sit bones towards the back, towards the sky. When you're ready, gaze forward, begin to walk your feet all the way towards the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway up, hands on a block. Right here, just for support at any length. I'll show all three lengths. The main thing is to keep the, the spine nice and long. Directing that energy towards the front through the crown of the head. Shoot forward, lengthen the back of your neck here. 
exhale fold inhale come on up you may open up those arms gathering your energy hands together as we exhale release that right arm down and then slightly keep your pelvis engaged your core muscles your top palm is facing down you're breathing and moving that spine all the way to the right side. Pressing down firmly through your feet. Inhale, come back to center. And then we exhale, release that left hand down. Shifting here, gazing forward. Or maybe bringing your eyes. Being delicate through the hips. Breathe through the side body, all that right side. Come back to center. And exhale, hands to heart center. And my AirPods are falling. <laughs> okay. So in here, hands to heart center. Breathing through. Try to engage those thighs. Lift up your knees. Breathe in and release. We're going to pivot our feet out and then our heels in. As we come on down, you may bring those hands to heart center and then slowly and gently come on down. Maybe supporting with your hands, pressing them down. And where you feel comfortable, Allowing those feet to support you. It's okay if your heels are high up. You may stay here. Or maybe find your blocks, something where you can support yourself and sit here. Bringing hands to heart center, lengthen the spine. Breathe in. Notice if you have to move a block. The main thing is we're pressing those elbows back as we lengthen and bring that pelvis forward, hips forward. Again, relaxing and elongating the back of your neck. If you feel comfortable without that block, I'll show it right here, hands to heart center, breathe in. Be gentle with your body. Remember, patience is a virtue, so just take your time breathing and softening your body. As you exhale, plant your hands. We're going to pivot our feet back. Plant your hands right by your feet, and then we're going to step back, breathing in. Nice and gentle. Tuck your toes. Press it back, downward facing dog, and then step the right foot forward. This time we're going to come high up, so I'm planting my right foot nice and firmly, and the back foot, I'm placing it on the ball of the back foot. So lift up the back high heel. All ten toes are facing forward towards the front of the mat. If you need those blocks, again, place and bride by your right foot. And when you're ready, come on all the way up, breathing in, feeling stronger every time, allowing your posture to soften as your pelvis tilts, breathing in, navel to spine, if you have to bring those hands to heart center, just Release them and stay here. And then as we exhale, we plant our hands and step the right foot back. I'll show it with the blocks. And then when you're ready, step that left foot forward. Step into the ball of that right back foot. When you're ready, inhale, come on up nice and strong in you, into your crescent moon pose. Lengthen those arms. Gaze forward. 
We're engaging the back thigh. Notice how the muscle feels. The front knee is always aligned with the left ankle. Breathing in. Making it stronger here. Maybe hands to heart center. Breathe in. When you're ready, release. Back down. I'll move my blocks. And plant my hands. And just step it back. Release those knees. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and place the right foot forward. And begin to sit down. You may keep the back knee nice and bent. We're coming into our pigeon pose. Actually have pigeon pose, but you may sit on a block here or your blanket. Your blanket will support you nice and comfortable. So just place it on that right hip to give you support. The main thing is to bring those hips square, nice and forward. So bring that support here. Bend the back knee, breathing in. If you feel comfortable here, go ahead and lengthen maybe the back leg. Breathe in. You may stay here or begin to just lay and relax, softening your hands all the way forward. Your forearms can support and be nice and aligned, your elbows underneath your shoulders as you inhale. Release any tension through the hips. Notice how wonderful this pose is. The moment to release is right now, so breathe in. And exhale. The moment to be grateful is right now. Breathe deeply. Purifying your breath, your oxygen, all the way inside you, supporting your body and your mind. And just when you're ready, bring those hands back and place the right knee back into tabletop. Step or bring that left knee behind that left wrist. You may bend the back leg to feel more comfortable. Again, trying to square those hips forward. You have to place your blanket, your block. Just sit on your block, breathing in. Flexing that front foot. Breathing in. Now remove the block. So by us flexing the left foot, we're protecting our knee. And depending on how you feel, you can move the left foot in towards the hips to soften the pose, breathing in. Maybe lengthening if you feel comfortable. I try to look back just to keep that right foot nice and long. And then as you exhale, try to fold forward into your forearms if you're here, or just breathe deeply. As your left leg relaxes, breathe through that left leg. Maybe your arms come into nice pillows and you lay down in the forehead. Forehead down into the, into the arms. Breathing in and breathing out. Try to listen to your breath. Try to listen to the intelligence of the body. The body thanks you for being here. Dedicating this time for yourself. Relaxing that mind. Gently begin to move your chest. Bring it back high up. And just when you're ready, bring the back right foot forward. You can sit 
nice and gentle I'll face you guys. Try to keep on closing your eyes and feeling renewed here with your energy, feeling a little taller. You may just relax and soften your hands. Hands to heart center if you want to meet me. Honoring yourself, your energy, and your thoughts. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Thank you so much for practicing today with me. I'll see you next time. Namaste.